Hello, my name is Alicia Brickner. I'm a registered nurse uh, working in the medical intensive care unit at Winter Haven Hospital. I am also a student at Polk State College studying to get my bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, I'm here today to talk about the future of nursing and for that I read an article called The Personal Professional Impact on the Future of Nursing Report written by Dr. Robin Chardon, who is a professor at Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. As we know, healthcare is rapidly changing. Um, right now, registered nurses are currently one of America's largest workforces. Um, there are three million, over three million nurses working currently. The Institute of Mass uh, Institute of Medicine has written a report called The Future of Nursing, Leading Change, and Advancing Health. Um, this report discusses four key messages that will affect the future of nursing, um, which all four of them I will go over. Um, key message number one is nurses should practice to the full extent of their education and training. Um, key message two is nurses should continue on educational with education through improved education systems. Um, key message three, nurses should be in partnership with physicians and other healthcare workers. And key message four, effective workplace workforce planning and policy making require better data collection and improved information infrastructure. Dr. Robin Chard, uh, discusses these four key messages written by the Institute of Medicine and how they apply to the future of nursing. She also describes different scenarios, barriers, and solutions um, for what we can do for the future of nursing. She lays out current evidence-based practice as a blueprint for application of these four key messages into our practice. Um, so key message one. Nurses should practice to the full extent of their education and training. Something that we all know or that we have witnessed if you're in the nursing field that could be a barrier to this or an example of a barrier to this would be advanced practicing nurses and their ability to prescribe controlled substances. Um, some solutions you can do for the future of nursing would be to be up to date on current standards, um, practices, policies, um, also to join committees like unit-based committees that help make decisions on where the future of nursing is going in that aspect. Um, key message two, higher le level of education and training. Um, the Institute of Medicine reports that 80% of registered nurses should have their bachelor's degree by the year 2020, or they recommend they have their bachelor's degree by the year 2020. Um, as we all know, one beautiful thing about being a nurse are the, is that there are different level entry positions. So you can come in starting at an um, associate's degree registered nurse or a bachelor's degree registered nurse. You can also continue on and become a nurse practitioner or get your master's in education or administration and management. Um, now that there are more opportunities for nurses to continue on education. Um, this makes this transition seamless. So you have health institutions working together with colleges to help improve nursing education, um, hopefully to achieve that goal by 2020. Um, key message three, nurses having full partnership with physicians and healthcare. So we all know that flaws occur in our healthcare system. A lot of it is because of its complexity and also of all of the many services that we offer. Um, communication barriers exist. As nurses, we are the ones that work hand in hand with our patient at bedside. Um, we coordinate their care, we work with physicians, social services, physical therapists, occupational therapists. Um, we work for dis work with them with discharges. That way we know if they're going home with home health or like a skilled nursing facility. Um, solutions to this would be um, nurses in leadership positions, um, being a true advocate for your patient and making sure that you use proper health communication models such as like the SBAR. Um, key message four, improve data collection 
and improve information infrastructure. So it's difficult to plan for an effective workforce if there's limited data and we don't know where the fall through is. Um, by having a centralized area where reliable data and is located as far as well as current supply and workforce, um, hopefully this should be developed. That way the people who are making the decisions for the future of nursing have accurate data. Um, a really big example of this would be nursing staff ratios. Now we have more nurses taking, excuse me, we have less nurses taking care of more patients. Um, this doesn't help with quality care or safety. In fact, it's very scary. Um, some solutions would be identifying the federal, state, federal and state hospital opportunities in advancing education and expanding on the nursing workforce. Um, also collaboration with other states to see their trends. Um, overall, the future of nursing, I can say I apply and use it as a guide for my practice because I currently am working in um, nursing field and I'm getting my bachelor's degree, so I'm continuing my education. I plan to go into leadership roles. Um, as nurses being at the bedside, I think that we should be one of the main people to help make decisions on where the future of nursing is going because it directly affects us. Thank you for your time.